Okay, so now we have reached the lab and we have our uh, tensile uh, universal testing machine. Uh, this machine is from the MTS. We have the, the whole machine is here. We will do our tensile uh, testing uh, experiment here uh, for the specimen, right? So what we will do? Uh, I will introduce everything with you in the machine and then we will perform the experiment on the machine. So in the machine what we have, look, uh, as we need to think, like uh, we have the specimen and we want to pull it, we, we want to do the tensile testing. So in this machine, the main parts, we have the jaw, this is the lower jaw, this is the upper jaw. The lower jaw is fixed, we cannot move it, the upper jaw can move up and down. How it moves, I will show it now. Once we switch on the machine, we have the grip, this is the lower grip, this is the upper grip and we have to fix the specimen from the two shoulder as I told you the dark bone specimen has two shoulder so bottom shoulder should be fixed here and the top shoulder, uh, shoulder should be fixed here and we have to tie it from here this one from here we have to tie it the lower jaw and the same we have in the upper jaw to tie it here now we need two things uh, to record the data we need the force the load and we need the extension right so here we have a load cell, load cell is connected here to the machine. So this will give us the force value, how much force we are applying. And we have uh, an extension meter which I will show you. Here we have the extension meter, it gave us the extension. Once we are starting the experiment, I will show you this one. But we can get the extension from the cross feed also, right? And we can get the extension from the cross feed here. Here we have two limit switches, here is the limit switch, right? This side and yeah, only on this side we have. The limit switch there and here so if the the limit switch touch this uh, bolt so the machine stops and this is the reason for this is that we don't want these two jaws to 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 touch either each, each other right and that's why we put the limit switch now what we have we have the the, the handset from the handset we can uh, move the jaws up and down i will show you now and we have the emergency switch here if anything goes wrong we have to switch it up and we have the computer here right so what we have to do before starting the experiment we have to make sure that the computer is off we will not start the software we will start the machine first so how to start the machine let us come here we have the power supply the main power supply so here is the power supply uh, you see here we have the three main switches we have the furnaces also but the central switch is for the uh, machine so i have to switch it on so now the machine is on right so i have to come here and see what is happening here so yes there is one another switch uh, we hit you see here below this switch also we have to uh, turn it on but it is already uh, on so we will see if the machine is on or not now coming to the machine here yes you see the machine is uh, switched on let us see the hand uh, set so if i want to remove the handset this is the handset you can see now you see here is a red light so it means if even if you press this button to move the jaw the jaw is not moving right or even you press the roll so to move it is not moving what we have to do we have to press the unlock button and you see now the the, the light is on right so if you move you want to move it you have to press it again two times we have to press so this light should switch on if this light is green then if you press the up button so the up the but the, the top jaw will go up you see and we can bring it down here also and if we want very small uh, movement so we can use you see the the roller this is very sensitive so from the roller the, the jaw can move up and down so here we have to keep the handset back we have to lock it again and keep it in mind to put the handset always here at the position right don't put it somewhere else so now we will switch on the the, the computer right here so the machine is on and here we see the computer is on so in the computer what we will do we have to open the the software right so we have the software TWO elite this software we have to use but we have already saved a template of this one for the tensile testing experiment so we will open this one so let me open this you see this is the MTS test suite and here is the this thing will come you will see so you have to accept it and the tensile test uh, template will open now here there are different things 
here we have the extensometer gauge length, the grip separation, the test rate, the data acquisition rate, removal point, diameter and area. Now all these things I want to show you in the machine what is these, what are these things. We have already set the values but let me show it to you. We have the specimen here, you see. This is the specimen, we have to fix the specimen. This is the dark bone specimen. I will provide you the diameter, the gauge length, everything I will provide to you on the Moodle to, to, to analyze the data. This specimen we have to fix. Now how to fix, we will fix this in the bottom jaw and from here we will tight it, right? Now it is closing, you see, yeah. so we have to tighten it properly, yeah, this is, now okay, so the bottom jaw, I, we have to make sure that it is open properly, then from the head, the, 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 the handset, we have to bring it down, right, so I have to unlock, and I have to bring down this specimen, you see, And you have to make the position exactly to the specimen so you should not damage the specimen you see and you should cover the whole shoulder the shoulder should be covered yes now it is okay so I want to lock it again and I will uh, lock the, 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 the jaw so the yeah, this one is like this so we have to close it now here you see it is even red and we wrote it so this one, this side is open, then the other side is closed. So I want to close it now. Now this is properly closed. Now in the software you saw there was grip separation. Grip separation is the distance between this jaw and this jaw. And which we have already measured and we are putting it this value in the software. It is uh, almost 80 millimeter. Right, and the gauge length as I have shown you in the uh, before in the PowerPoint presentation that this is the gauge length right here of the, 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 the specimen. And the diameter of the specimen is the diameter here in this area, right? Not the shoulder diameter. This is the, the, the where there is the gauge length. So that is the diameter of the, the, the thing. Now once we start the experiment, what will happen? We will receive the load from the load cell but the extension from the cross feed is coming but that is not that much accurate so we use uh, a special device extensiometer which is highly sensitive here you see this this guy so what we do we use the extensiometer now this is very sensitive and delicate we have to use it properly uh, with much care so how we use it this extensiometer actually it has to you see these two uh, uh, flat surfaces so the distance between these two is known as the extensiometer gauge gauge length and it is 50 millimeter right so this we have to fix on the specimen then what we will have the software will take the distance or the, the deformation the elongation by these two uh, blade you see here and this is will be much more accurate as compared to the cross feed it we have this pen look here this pen we should not remove the pen before uh, we install the extensiometer to the specimen right so how to install make sure this mts is towards you right so you cannot do like this one if it is you see if now it is upside down this is the wrong way this is the right way right the mts should be in front of you now we bring it here and we want to make it uh, here so we have these two hooks right so the hooks we will bring it here yeah, now this is fine this one and the below things is this one now the extensiometer we have fixed it now we will not remove the pen here but let us uh, set the software and then we will uh, remove the specimen and test which we have most of them we have already set but here we want to uh, change the diameter which is six uh, millimeter right the area we have already put, the gauge length and the grip separation, everything is here. Now, before starting the test, I have to make all the things. You see here the load at the bottom, the cross feed, the extensiometer, all these we have to set to zero. So, zero signal here. 
again this one zero signal this one i have to set zero signal and this is okay right and here you see here we have the test rate you see the test rate is what this is the feed rate with which we are pulling the specimen now here it is 0.847 millimeter per second what does it mean it means that the specimen will be uh, deformed 0.84 millimeter or elong elong uh, it will elongate 0.84 millimeter in one second so for brittle material we keep this one as minimum as possible but for ductile material uh, this value is okay like 0.8 it is like almost 800 micrometer per second it is fine as it is now before starting the test you have to make sure the very very important uh, point you have to remove the, the the pin right and you have to remove how slowly you have to remove by 90 degree right so you should not damage anything right by 90 degree you have to remove the pin if you will miss the removing the pin then the extensometer might break right now we will start uh, the test right you look here so i'm going to run the test before running the test again i have to verify the diameter the grip separation the extensometer gauge length okay it is fine so i will start uh, the test now you can see load in the graph you see the load and you see the extension here so this data is coming and the specimen is elongating you see so this data is coming now from the extensometer so when the elastic when it reach the elastic limit then we will remove the extension meter because we don't want to destroy the extension meter uh, as the material is ductile it will uh, elongate too much so the remaining uh, extension data will come from the cross feed right so here we see uh, once the elastic limit is reached then we will remove the now i will hold the test and i want to remove the extension meter you see here so we we have we have seen here the elastic limit has crossed right so i will remove the extension meter carefully and then we will start the the thing so i will open the the bottom grip and the top grip and i will put the pen back right this is extremely important the pen right so we have to put the pen here and we have to keep this guy here and again you see here now the the software is showing that the extension meter has been removed and now we have to close it and the test will start uh, we will start the test again so now the test has started again now the data here is coming it is coming from the cross feed it is not that much accurate but it is okay right for us it is okay because we are not much interested in this area we are interested in the elastic region only now you can see the nicking at the top you see here at the top now soon it will break you will see you see the nicking and here you can see the the the, the data is coming below right so now you see it is almost breaking and it breaks right so this was our tensile test and now you see the test has stopped and the the stress has come to zero right so this is the graph but this graph we will not provide it to you we will provide you the load versus extension data now here you see i have to uh, close it not to return to zero no we don't want to return it to zero right and we have the test here all the properties are here but we don't want to give you the properties now the data we want to export so if i click on the file i am going to the export so i want to export the raw data right 
and I want to uh, select the format here you see separated commas excel file we want to do and we have already choose the destination so I will export and the data is successfully exported to that folder and now I will provide you this uh, data so now what we have to do we have to remove this specimen right same way I have to open it from here and now the specimen cannot be removed so what I have to do I have to move a little bit up the jar right so I have to switch control from the computer to the handset and you see now the specimen the, the jar is moving up so I can remove the specimen easily right this one and from the bottom also I can remove it as well have to switch up the machine the same way like how we switch it up from the power supply we remove the specimen and we have to switch up for the power supply right so today we finished all three experiments for the material science lab and what you have to do now you have to write report regarding to the rubric which is available on the board so one thing here I want to say for all these three experiments I would like to thank Dr. Subramanian for his help because he helped me a lot to operate all these machines we recently bought this machine uh, you people have not seen because of the COVID-19 but this is the machine the hardness machine, the field machine we have well developed material science lab but uh, and he has installed all these operators so I want to thank him and I want to acknowledge him for all the effort he uh, has done with me so once again thanks to Dr. Subramanian right now even he is recording my video so you should also thank him somehow because he helped me a lot. So that's it from the material science lab. 